want to watch what happens live Monday night, a TV event of our time, people. Real Housewives of New Jersey stars Teresa and Joe Giudice sat down for their first interview since getting sentenced to prison last week. Not surprisingly, they didn't make a ton of sense and still seemed in denial about being convicted felons. Here are the lucky number seven most nonsensical things they said. I'm a trustworthy person. Sometimes I take, you know, what other people say and I just believe them and I trust them. And I can't do that anymore. Couple things here. One, being trustworthy is not when you trust other people. And two, pretty sure the other people you're talking about there includes your husband. So you should not have trusted your husband. Number six, speaking of, here's Joe still not admitting he did illegal things. But you were taking out false loans. All right, whatever, I was taking out false loans. May as well have thrown up some air quotes there, Joe. False loans, too bad the conviction is real. But at number five, Joe sounds surprisingly okay with prison. If you stick me with a knife right now, I probably wouldn't even feel it. You know? Nope. No. <laughs> Do you not really understand what you meant by that? Is that a, a, a prison thing I don't know about? What we do know is that Joe sounds like he's dreading taking care of his own kids more than getting stabbed. To my daughters, and I gotta do what I gotta do. I know. I guess I'm gonna be the housewife. Now that is an observation. Teresa, the real housewife, <laughs> get it, is gonna miss her daughters while she's in prison, though. I've been saying that to him since last night. I got it recorded, babe. What? What did you record? Are you guys on another reality show we don't know about? What? Number two, it got weirder. Joe might have a sponsorship deal with Men's Warehouse. You get two suits, two shirts, two ties, okay, for $250. Okay, but how much for two orange jumpsuits, Joe? <laughs> Sigh. And our number one, this makes no sense moment. Here's Teresa summing up her reaction to the sentencing. Of course, I, I was shocked. Oh, oh God, no. Oh. The closed captioning even took pity on Teresa and pretended she said shocked. So what we learned Monday night, they're still the same old Teresa and Joe. She still doesn't understand a lot, he still doesn't admit to a lot, and both still don't make a lot of sense. On the bright side, the pair was paid for this interview. And you can see more of it at bravotv.com, part two, yes, there's more. Airs on Bravo Thursday night. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.